Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's presentation, I bring you a rather exclusive and unique treat. A detailed in-depth look at this 2009 Koenigsegg CCXR. And this is going to be a detailed in-depth review of the CCXR. We'll start right up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior as well as exterior. And before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to extend a big thanks and special shout out to Prestige Imports Lamborghini Miami, located in Miami, Florida, for allowing me to come down and film and providing the Koenigsegg featured in today's video. For more information about any of the other super cool exotics in their inventory, check out the link in the description box below. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and power it up, let her run. In order to open the door, there's a small electronic button located right underneath the panel here. All you have to do is just press it and automatically slide it out. It's a deep black exterior accented in some red highlights featuring a fantastic combination of leather and Alcantara red interior with black trim across the dash, center console, and door panels. The CCXR features an electrohydraulic rack and pinion power assist steering setup with 2.7 turns to lock and a 36 foot or 11 meter turning radius. Fed through a three spoke, thick rimmed carbon fiber steering wheel with leather wrapping each spoke. The upper spokes are perforated with thick grip bolsters while the lower bolsters are more subtle. The horn is routed through the aluminum buttons on the upper two spokes. The insane power can be routed through two optional transmissions. The first, as we have here, is a standard six-speed manual with a 255mm AP Racing dual plate clutch and plenty of aluminum from the pedals to the classic gear lever. For the fastest possible shifts, a six-speed automated manual is also available where you can shift via paddles on the back of the steering wheel. A torque sensing limited slip differential is standard while an electronic differential is also available driving the rear wheels. One of the coolest styling aspects of the interior is the circular aluminum control panel with stainless steel buttons, corresponding to your exterior lighting, windows, and ignition. They light up blue at night or when activating the exterior lighting, with multicolored lights within the inner ring for your warning and indicator lights. Like you saw with the ignition, activating the other functions is also a two-step process once you hit the little unlock button in the bottom of the stack. So, we'll go ahead and flip on the Xenon headlamps. To put the window down, you also have to hit the unlock switch and hold it down to the window, it goes back into the door frame, as well as the hazards. The story of Koenigsegg is a fascinating tale of a young man's dream and ambition to create the perfect sports car, one that wasn't hindered in design, technology, or refinement. Today, in Engelholm, Sweden, the low-volume bespoke supercar manufacturer produces some of the fastest, most powerful and radical cars on the planet, with each car being totally unique as they're built to order and built entirely by hand, including over 300 hand-formed carbon fiber parts. With so many well-known supercar companies having long, illustrious pedigrees, 
Koenigsegg's history began just two decades ago from a clean sheet as a vision by 22-year-old Christian von Koenigsegg when he first launched his company back in 1994. Against all odds, he and a small team of engineers developed and produced their first running prototype in 1996. The Koenigsegg CC or Competition Coupe prototype featured innovative build techniques such as a carbon fiber body, detachable roof with a completely bespoke suspension, braking system, and more. After the overwhelming positive response the car received after its public debut, the project set forward. In 2002, Koenigsegg began production of the CC8S, a car that can achieve a terminal velocity of 240 miles an hour and went into the Guinness Book of World Records as the most powerful production engine of its time. With only six being made, the CC8S gave way to the vastly improved CCR in 2004. With a more powerful twin supercharged engine, revised suspension, aerodynamics, and more, it produced 151 more horsepower than its predecessor for a total of 806, capable of 0 to 62 miles an hour in 3.2 seconds. That car, with only 14 produced, briefly held the record as the world's fastest production car, beating out the mighty McLaren F1's long-standing eight-year record when it was clocked over 242 miles an hour at Italy's Nardo test track. Shortly after, the mighty Bugatti Veyron claimed the top ranks in 2005 with its top speed of 253. This brings us to the third generation Koenigsegg known as the CCX and subsequent CCXR, first introduced for 2006 and 2007 respectively. The X refers to the Roman numeral for 10 which represents the company's 10th anniversary since the first test drive of the original CC prototype of 96. Their current production facility once was the home of the Swedish Air Force Fighter Jet Squadron No. 1. With its long 1.7 km runway, they're able to design, build, dyno, and even road test in-house. The Flying Ghost, the spirit of performance, adorns each engine bay, a tribute to the retired squadron's logo. The CCX was a big step for the brand as it was the first globally sold Koenigsegg, especially in the US. In addition to completely refreshed styling, the new car carried a number of engine revisions to make sure it was 50 state emissions certified while still retaining the CCR's legendary power. Changes include new cylinder heads that featured a larger valve area with optimized ports, two small injectors per cylinder which replaced the previous larger single unit, new camshaft profiles, carbon fiber intake plenum, revised ECU, in addition to revised fuel and EVAP system. Even the exhaust system changed, moving the catalytic converters closer to the engine which permitted faster light off. The car has a huge radiator and also has oil and transmission coolers for better cooling in hot climates. The new body also enhanced brake cooling, aerodynamics, and safety. Fog lamps were added in front in addition to side markers for the US market with redesigned xenon headlamps. A new scoop in the hood provided more fresh air to the interior while extra vents behind the front wheels helped evacuate air from the body. Side skirts were also added for extra downforce. The chassis is composed of a Kevlar reinforced carbon fiber monocoque with aluminum honeycomb that also integrates the fuel tank. The monocoque itself only weighs 158 pounds with rigidity as high as 58,000 newton meters per degree of twist. Because the car is so low, the front end is electronically adjustable to help clear speed bumps. The F1 style traction control system has five different handling modes and are selected by a small dial in the dash. Compared to the CCR, the new car is 3.5 inches longer to comply with US rear impact regulations. To assist in airflow and cooling, the CCX debuts a new vortex generator that positions itself between the raised humps on the rear clamshell, which creates an inherent ram air induction system over the mid-mattered V8. There are 10 little spines that help break up the air, creating the vortex that then passes air to the intake below the rear window. In other words, it creates a positive pressure in the air box, allowing the car to keep a small frontal area with no excess scoops, while still being able to preserve rearward visibility. All in all, drag coefficient is as low as 0.3 with the central pressure point being behind the car's low center of gravity. Looking underneath, you'll notice its flat underbody only broken up by Venturi tunnels, a front splitter and a large rear diffuser that enhance downforce. A carbon fiber rear spoiler is available, but without it the car generates 132 pounds of downforce over the front axle and 143 pounds over the rear axle at 200 km per hour or approximately 124 miles an hour. The CCXR was built as a derivative of the CCX and represents the first green supercar. The key difference here being the engine, which was adapted to run on both E85 and E100 biofuel, in addition to 91 octane regular fuel. 
it still produces the same 806 brake horsepower as the CCX when you're using 91 octane gas, but when the car is running on E85, power jumps to an astonishing 1018 horsepower. The benefit of the ethanol is its higher octane rating and internal cooling capacity allowing the engine to run at a higher compression ratio with more boost and spark advance while still emitting the same exhaust temperatures. If desired, current CCX owners can even bring their cars back to Koenigsegg for the full conversion. The CCXR features a set of unidirectional and asymmetric magnesium alloy 9-star wheels with central locking hub and polished finish. Carbon fiber wheels are also available to shave an additional 6.6 .6 pounds each. They measure 19 by 9.5 inches in front with huge 20 by 12.5 inch wheels in the rear wrapped in sticky, high-performance Michelin Pilot Sport 2 tires, 255-35s in front and 335-30s in the rear. On the skid pad, the CCXR is able to pull up to 1.45 G in lateral cornering forces. With the insane power the CCXR delivers, of course the braking system has to be top notch. It carries the upgraded 15 by 1.3 inch carbon ceramic discs in front with 8 piston monoblock calipers and 14.2 by 1.25 inch discs in the rear clamped by 6 piston calipers. The ceramic brakes save about 16 pounds in total and with this setup the vehicle is able to stop from 60 miles an hour in approximately 104 feet. As far as the suspension, it's fully independent with double wishbones front and rear and a pushrod operated two-way adjustable VPS gas hydraulic shock absorber setup. Overall length is 169 inches with a width of 78.6 inches and a height of 44.1 inches with ground clearance of 3.94 inches. Dry weight as you see here is around 2,821 pounds with a weight distribution between the front and rear of 45% and 55% respectively. Originally, the Koenigsegg supercharged V8 had an aluminum engine block derived from the Ford Mustang Cobra. With the introduction of the CCX, Koenigsegg developed their own in-house power plant that featured the same displacement as the previous engine, but had an all-new, stronger aluminum block stamped with the brand's shield on either side. The CCX delivers a staggering 806 brake horsepower and 678 pound-feet of torque from a hand-built dual overhead cam 32-valve all-aluminum 4.7-liter V8 benefiting from 1.2 bar to 1.35 bar, or 17.4 to 19.6 PSI of boost, thanks to its twin Rotex centrifugal superchargers and concomitant intercoolers. Bore and stroke are 90.4 and 90.7 millimeters respectively, with a dry sump lubrication system, dual throttle bodies, sequential multi-port fuel injection, and a compression ratio of 8.8 .8 to 1. With the CCXR, the supercharger is able to put out as much as 1.6 bar or 22.2 psi to produce upwards of 1,018 horsepower at 7,200 rpm, with a red line of 7,500 rpm. Torque is rated at 740 pound feet at 6,100 rpm while running on E85 biofuel. That's just 2.8 pounds per horsepower and translates to 0 to 60 times of 3.1 seconds and an estimated top speed of over 250 miles an hour. Quarter mile times are approximately 9.7 seconds at 146 miles an hour. The engine is a semi-structural component that is mounted as low and close to the middle as possible, adorned with the brand's logo in the block and the shield in the center of the main crossmember. All in all, the engine weighs only 392 pounds thanks to heavy carbon fiber construction that includes the intake plenum and valve covers. As far as fuel economy, the vehicle carries an 18.5 gallon tank and requires at least 91 octane fuel. Of course, the extra power comes from the biofuel alternatives. Keeping this in mind, projected fuel economy is said to be a combined 22 liters per 100 kilometers, which is roughly 11 miles to a gallon, as E85 typically has 30% worse fuel economy when compared to traditional fuel. Koenigsegg's doors have remained one of the car's most intriguing features. Described as dihedral synchro helix actuation, these doors swing out and up to a perfect vertical stance. This creates a lot of room for ingress and egress, especially with the roof off. They're very lightweight thanks to the carbon fiber construction and surprisingly easy to use when compared to gullwing or scissor doors. The only caveat is making sure you don't park too close to a high curb or trying to open the bonnet when the door is open. Inside, the CCX was designed to be accommodating for a wide variety of body types as it's one of the roomiest cars in its class thanks to two more inches of headroom when compared to its predecessor. With a tremendous amount of exposed carbon fiber and aluminum, you'll think you're sitting in the midst of a luxury Formula 1 racer. 
The seating for the new CCX was designed in collaboration with Sparco, featuring carbon fiber shells, a good amount of padding wrapped in a combination of leather and diamond quilted Alcantara with basic manual adjustments including recline. They're also quite comfortable and supportive with great lateral support. The back of the seats are left unfinished in high gloss carbon fiber, whereas the small rear parcel shelf is lined in diamond quilted Alcantara and also features some LED interior illumination and a small window as you look over the engine bay. The carbon fiber tub is also left exposed, including the wide door sills with the Koenigsegg aluminum door sill entry guards. Aluminum sport pedals kind of give a little bit of an F1 touch, whereas the floor mats are diamond quilted. For a low volume hypercar manufacturer, the Koenigsegg has excellent build quality. With the dash majority wrapped in Alcantara, you do have plenty of leather padding across the windshield frame, areas of the dash, and center console. Accented in red stitching, and it's completely customizable. So let's go ahead and see if she sounds. Overall, the interior is actually what you would need in a car that's built for performance. It's easy and simple to use. Ergonomics are also pretty good, with most of your important controls in the center console activated by large buttons or rotary dials. And while media and entertainment might not be high on the priority list for a car in this caliber, Koenigsegg also offers premium audio systems. Down below is your simple, standard climate control with temperature off to the left, fan speed to the right, different zones in the middle, as well as recycling. OBD2 onboard diagnostics are standard, and in the newer cars there's a refreshed instrumentation cluster with your spinometer in the middle, tachometer, boost pressure, oil pressure, fuel pressure, fuel level, vehicle temperature, as well as oil temperature. And down in the bottom of the center console you have your hazards, locks, traction control modes, as well as raising and lowering the front end. Alright. Just gonna shut her down. Check out the rest of the vehicle. Another pretty cool thing is that on the passenger side, you also have a little bit of a storage pocket, but in the floorboard you have a standard fire extinguisher. The metal key also nicely stows within a leather pocket in the back of the center console. In order to release the boot, there's a handle within the door frame here. Just pull it. So once you pull that release switch, you just lift up on the hood a little bit and grab the second release handle under the driver's side headlamp. Then, you just lift it up and there's a set of gas-filled shocks that automatically lift it up. 
Now there's only a modest 4.2 cubic feet of cargo space up front which is pretty much taken up entirely when you stow the carbon fiber removable roof. It is also pretty cool that you can see the front wheels as well as the exposed suspension linkages below. Need to put it back down, just lower it gently until it clicks past that secondary release switch. And then with both hands, press gently on the bottom of each headlamp to get the clip back down. And there you go. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at this 2009 Koenigsegg CCXR. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where that came from. Take care, everybody.